Welcome back to the Hawthorne Video Active Report. I'm Dina Hook. Improved TV hardware allows better ad creative, so generally, we're all for it. But we really should perfect next generation TV before we jump to the next, next generation. A Tokyo broadcaster just tested Ultra HD, featuring 16 times the resolution of current high def, which is presently still working on driving out analog. It just proves the old adage. Ten minutes after leaving the store with your gear, somebody somewhere has made something better. By turning The Sims online into EA land, Electronic Arts is apparently convinced that free access will make it more money. You can play free as long as you want, but you won't get full features. The hope is to drive interest in the full featured version and build a big audience for the in-game advertising that's probably not far behind. Philip Swan, a.k.a. Swanee, of TVPredictions.com, spoke at a national cable conference last month. In addition to predicting that the upcoming analog-to-digital transition will cause TV chaos next year, he also expressed doubt about TV tech innovations. Swan says viewers don't want more, they want less. Less aggravation and less confusion. It's a point worth considering. If TV becomes too technically challenging, we'll lose a big chunk of our ad audience. According to HitWise, November saw a turning point for how web users find video. For the first time, more came to content via search engines than through any other means. This means that fewer people search directly on YouTube and more on general engines like Google whose result pages can point elsewhere. A video search entered into Google could actually pull viewers from the site that it owns and the ads that rely on that traffic. In direct response advertising, we iron out strange audience quandaries each day. I'm Dina Hook for Hawthorne Direct. Thanks for watching.